Hey guys, it's Claire here from The Little Design Corner and on this channel I share videos for designers, decorators and home renovators who want to create beautiful homes as well as businesses that they love to work in. And what I want to do today is actually share a SketchUp Quick Tips video with you. Now my Quick Tips videos are something that I put together as little extras, little bonus videos that I put together for my SketchUp students inside my SketchUp course. But some of these have actually really quite valuable little tips and tricks about how to use SketchUp. And so what I've decided to do is to just share some of the ones that I think are super helpful onto my YouTube channel so that a few more people can get some value out of them. So today what we're going to be looking at is how to add a gable or pitched ceiling to your model because often people struggle with working out how they're going to do this um, and it's not something that I specifically teach inside the course so it's a little bit of a bonus for those people who do have a pitch ceiling or a, uh, or a rake ceiling or something like that. So that's what we learn in this quick tips video, a nice quick short video about how to use a particular aspect of SketchUp. Now if you are new around here I have lots of different videos about SketchUp, about running a design business and about interior design in general. So if all of those sorts of things sound like they might be something of interest, so don't forget to hit subscribe and also the notifications button so that you can be notified when my next videos go live. But in the meantime, let me jump over to the quick tips video that I created for my SketchUp students and teach you how to do a pitched or gabled roof. Hey guys, Claire here back with another quick tips video for you today. Now what I want to talk about today is how to make a pitched roof in if you have the need to do that. Now I know that we are focusing only really on interiors in this course. We don't really look at how to build the exterior of your building or the architectural details of your building on the outside. Um, but many of you do have um, ceilings that aren't flat. In the course we learn how to put on a flat ceiling but many of you don't have flat ceilings. So if that that is the case and you want to have some kind of feature ceiling in your model then I'm going to show you today how to do a pitched roof or a gabled roof on this little sort of house that I've mocked up here. So the first thing that I have done is to create our little house. So we've got our um, walls and they have been grouped and we've got our floor and that has also been grouped. So being grouped and being organized as a starting point is really important before you add your roof. I also have a roof layer here ready to go when we do create our roof. And then the next thing you want to do is make sure you have your protractor tool ready to go. Um, so if you do not have that on your tool set yet, what you want to do is come down to your view you customize toolbar in your, and then you'll find your protractor tool here and you can drag that onto your tool set there. So I've already got mine there but that's what you do. So activate your protractor tool because that's what we're going to need first. And like with most things in SketchUp, there are probably lots of different ways of creating these pitched roofs. So this is just the way that I do it, um, but you may think of another technique or another way to do it as well. But this will give you the way that I do it and hopefully that will be helpful. So what we're going to do is we are first going to come to the inside corner of this um, little house that we've built for ourselves and we're going to use our protractor tool and make sure that we are on this um, red axis and we're going to just start to measure a pitch. Now I'm just going to use 30 degrees as the pitch for this particular roof but um, you, you, you probably know what the pitch of your roof is and if that's the case then you draw in whatever your pitch is. So um, why has that got stuck? Let's have a look. There we go. So and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, 30 degrees, and you can see there that we have created the outline of our pitch. Now I'm going to come to the other side and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And the reason for that will become clear shortly. And 30. And so we've got our two things. So then the next thing I'm going to do is to draw in the triangles with the pencil tool. And just create faces. So that's one face. And do the other one. like this 
And then what we're going to do is I might just reverse the faces because for us, we are focused on interior design. So we are going to be looking from the inside of this model predominantly. So we want our renderings to, um, to show the inside of this, you know, to show up the materials and stuff that we have on this wall, not on the exterior face. So I'm just going to reverse those. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is to grab my offset tool on this particular one. And let's just select the face and then get our offset tool. Okay, and then we're going to come out by, let's say, 300 or even 250. doesn't really matter. Just to create that thickness to our roof line. Now the reason that I've come from the inside of our model like this is because we don't, we're sort of like trying to trick the Giprock, if that makes sense. So in a minute, we'll show, I'll show you how that sort of all works out. Um, trick having the Giprock is what I'm sort of trying to say. So then the next thing to do is to just come and we need to close off these edges. So we're going to just get our pencil tool and bring it down to just close off because that's going to create the eaves of our uh, roof as well. So just get your pencil tool, just grab that corner there and then we're going to come inside and we're just going to delete that line. So we've got our sort of eaves here created for us and that's already done. Now what's happened on that side? Oh, that did the offset on that side and so we don't want that, do we? So I'm just going to delete that offset that I accidentally created when I was doing the other one. Okay, let's delete that. Let's fix that up. Okay, next step, I want to group those three bits of, um, actually first I'm just going to delete these guys because they annoy me. Okay, let's group these. So group that section, make group, group this section and then group this section. <clears throat> and then you can probably see what we're going to do next and that is that we're going to click into this group and we are going to push pull to the other side. Now you can see that when I snap to this um, sort of enclosed part of the inside of the model, the fa this face that's closing in our pitch, um, we're sort of left with this weird sort of section of our exterior wall. So what I'm going to do is just bring it out probably let's say 400 past that section and that gives us a little overhang past our exterior walls um, there as well. And then on this side, I'm going to do the same. So just push pull this side. Oh, now it's doing something. I forgot to release that side hanger. We'll just undo that. Yep. And then we'll come to this side. We'll select this face and then we're going to push pull that by 400 as well to create the overhang on that side. So there you can see that we've got the start of our roof. Now, if you were wanting to be pedantic, I would click into that and I would also bring the thickness of this section out as well just to create um, that. So just snap that to your exterior wall and you can do that on the other side as well. So double click into this triangle group that we made and we'll snap that to our exterior wall. And there you have the basics of creating your roof. Now the reason we drew from the inside corner like that is because now as you can see we've got this nice sort of clean line that's representing what our Giprock would do. So if we went from the outside of this model we would be left with the thickness of the internal wall sort of sitting exposed in here. So just make sure you come from the inside of your model to do this. Now one thing I haven't done yet is to pick up those three groupings and um, to put them on our roof layer because we want to be able to obviously turn that on and off so we can access the inside of our model. So you can see I've grouped that now and we can switch that on and off and we can work on our model really easily that way. Um, so then another thing you might like to do is to add some skylights potentially. If you did want to do that, just click into your um, roof group here and then you can just draw those in at the locations that you would have them. So let's, I mean, you'd measure them out obviously, but um, let's just pretend that we did. And then you can just push through and click. And once it sort of like snaps to the other wall, it will delete. So you can just do like a couple 
Um, that's not really wanting to line up. But anyway, we'd, we'd measure all that out, obviously, because we would not just do it like this, but just to show you how to do it. And that's delete something funny happened there but we just push through and get rid of it why is it not wanting to do it there we go okay so then you can just create your um your skylights in your ceiling like that if you were going to have some skylights uh, and then the only other thing i guess to mention is that if you don't like the look of this line you can just um, hide that line by clicking into the group and you can just uh, right click on the line and hide it and you need to click into both groups and you can hide that line there as well so that gets rid of that so you've got just like that nice clean um, wall now as well so that's the thing that I wanted to show you today which is how to create that pitched roof hope you find that helpful um, the most important thing is just to remain organized with the model for this sort of thing because you just want to make sure that you are grouping carefully as you go um, so that you don't end up with everything sticking to each other. But I hope you found that helpful. Let me know if there's other tips you would like me to do for you and I can make you some more videos like this. Okay, see you later.